Team J Production right here is Anthony. Joanna. And if you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe to our channel. Uh, our Instagram and social media is at the end of the video. If you guys want to follow us, go ahead and follow. So today's video, as you can see through, by the title, we're going to be doing some trivia questions. Uh, she's going to be answering some basketball questions, like the NBA trivia question. We kind of did like a little twist, like so it won't be that. Because if he answers the NBA, he'll probably know all of them. Yeah, and so she's going to do it. He's doing the uh, like makeup one. A cosmetic challenge. So there's like a trivia question. I think the NBA one has 10 questions and the cosmetic one has uh, 15. We could do 10. And uh, the loser has to buy... Um, whatever we're craving. Yeah, whatever so. we're craving. And right now it's pretty late, so it could be like any like dessert or anything. So... I hope you lose. Let's go. Let's get it started. So rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, I thought you did the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah, I go. No, I go first. Oh, yeah. Like, I asked you the question. All right, so this is uh, the cosmetic one already. All right, so I'm going to say the questions. I mean, she's going to say the questions first, and I'm going to answer them. Okay, a nail polish that is colorless and goes on top of a colored polish is called what? A peak coat, top coat, bottom coat, mid coat. Bottom coat. <laughs> Obviously, he's in the bottom. <laughs> what the hell? A, last one, Anthony. It was a top coat. That's the easiest. And that probably is that it's colorless. And goes on top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'm like, definitely winning this one. Okay. So you want to do one you and then one me and then like that? No, you just, you just go all the way straight. Go. Okay. Chanel? Chanel number no. five, Alert, Coco, and Chance are perfumes made by a company founded by whom? Giorgio Armani, Rob Lauren, Rob Canny. Chanel is a person, huh? Yeah, I see. So Coco Chanel, I guess? Okay. Alright. Because <laughs> it gave it right there, the yeah. first question. Well, it gave it the first question, also yeah, it did it. Okay, Brazilian company. Damn, I don't even know how to. Natural. <laughs> <laughs> Not. I don't know. Is that Spanish? Natural. Mhm. Mm Mame e bebe. Product line was aimed at whom? Women and children, children and preteens, moms and dads, teens and young adults. This isn't even really like makeup. It's cosmetic. Oh. It was cosmetic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would say children, no, I say teens and young adults. Teens and young adults. Wrong, women oh, and children. Okay. I knew that one. Yeah, right. I did. What products are the main stay of the cool? Copper tone. I can't see from here, that's why. Copper tone brand. Hair coloring, no polishes, suntan lotions, or shampoos. You know No? Does that tell you how do you know these questions? What products are the mainstay of the Copper Tone brand? I know Copper Tone is basically goes on hair, so I'm going to go with... With hair? No. Or shampoos? Between. It's hair coloring and shampoos, suntan lotion, No, I think it's either... Polishes. I think I know which one is it. I think it's either mainstay. I think it's hair coloring. Hair coloring? Suntan lotion. I knew lotion. the cosmetics company name for its founder gives pink cataracts to its high sellers. sellers. The answers are um, oh, St. Ives, Revlon, Mary Kay, or Maybelline. I think I know which one. I think Maybelline. Set her down in Maybelline. Mary what? Kay. Yep, I knew that one. Which of these? Now you already lost like all of them. Answer one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one out of six. Which of these will be used on the hair after shampooing it? Cologne, lip balm, aftershave, or conditioner? Which will be used on the hair as a shampoo? Conditioner? Why would you shave? It's loading, but it is conditioner. What is the English translation of the French term Ial de toilette? A lightly scented substance. Sparkling uh, water, bottled water, rainwater, toilet water. English translation. I would say sparkling. Wow, toilet water. It literally says it right there. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> okay, a perfume of what scent? A well-known ice cream should you wear to relieve stress? Chunky Monkey, American Dream, Rocky Road, or Vanilla? To relieve stress, I know it's not Rocky Road. Why are you hating on Rocky Road? Vanilla. I think Vanilla. Yep. Which okay. Dallas star released a perfume? Damn, I don't even know none of these people. It's Barbara, Belle, Larry, Hagman, Victoria, Principal, Patrick Duffy. Principal. I'm gonna go with fucking. I don't like these questions. Barbara. Uh, Victoria, Principal. You got like five right. Five out of ten. So I got 50%, you guys. So it's not bad. I'm half right, half wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's her turn. Still ain't making fun of me, but 50%, you know? Still passing in, a, in, a, in school. That's not me. <laughs> this is fucking fail. All right. So this is the NBA questions from last year, 2018. All right. Here it goes. Number one. Who leads the NBA in free throw percentage? Malcolm Brogdon, Steph Curry, or Kyle Corbin? Oh, that's an easy one. Malcolm. Malcolm? All right. It's Curry. It is Malcolm. That's Curry. Oh. You second. All right, who leads the league in rebounds per game last year? Andre Drummond, Rudy Gobert, or Joel Embiid? This is easy too. It's easy for you. The other ones weren't even like cosmetic. Like I didn't know half of those. Okay. Then. I didn't like those questions. <laughs> Good. Um. I'll go with. Joel. Joel? Which NBA team plays with the fastest pace in the league? Definitely not again. Sacramento Kings, LA Lakers, Atlanta Hawks. This is easy too. From these three. Hawks. <laughs> I Kings, think the Kings, Hawks. Kings. Kings. Oh no, you're right. Damn. Which NBA team attempts the fewest three points per game? This was last year, huh? Oh, I already know this one. Chicago Bulls, San Antonio Spurs, and I saw the Tim Rose. And then we'll go with Bulls. Bulls? Spurs. Oh yeah, they don't shoot a lot of threes, I forgot. Slow paced team. Which player has the highest usage percentage in the NBA? Okay, the answer is not James. James sorry? Oh wait, who has the highest? Yeah, who has the highest? Okay, I'll go with like Harden. Who usually makes the most shots? Harden. High, high percentage shots. Harden? I think so. I think I'm Harden. I just gave Or this one, the Zach. Zach Levine? Yes. <laughs> no, you right. see, I was right. James. I told you. The team is usually the team that shoots above 40% from three. That was an easy one. San Antonio Spurs, Golden State Warriors, or Boston? Warriors. Got it right. Which player has attempted the most free throws this season? LeBron James, James Harden, or Joe MV? Basically, who gets fouled a lot the most? Harden. Okay. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Damn, he got 80%. And hey, which team averages the fewest points per game this season? New York Knicks, Chicago Bulls, or Orlando Magic? The Bulls. Wow. I was second right. Second right. <laughs> Which player leads the NBA in three point percentage? David, I mean, Davis Burdens, uh, Derrick Rose, or Joe Harris? Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose? Oh, you see? You're always over here making me okay. feel like I'm not right. Which team currently has the most wins of the season? Warriors. Milwaukee Bucks, Golden State Warriors, or Toronto Raptors? Warriors? I should say Warriors, if not Raptors. Raptors. Oh, this is this year then. Oh. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> 2018 to 2019. Oh, these are the answers. I know one. Like six of them were correct. Look, even the Derrick Rose wasn't right. It was David Burdens. 
So yeah, the new Derrick Rose ain't shooting at me threes. All right, guys, so she got five out of 10. Uh, she got half of them right. And I also got 50% correct on these. So we had to do a tiebreaker. All right, guys, so we're gonna be doing a tiebreaker right here. We're gonna be doing a trivia quiz about yeah. the show Power, which is a show that we started watching together. So basically, we're trying to see who knows the show, I guess, better. Just better. Tiebreaker scene. To so see, we're around to the 50 So we're gonna just uh, ask, ask a question. I think it's six questions. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, six questions. And whoever answers the, the, uh, the answer, I guess, the fastest? Yeah. Probably the correct. Correct. Right. Not the what do you blend. Okay, whoever says the fast, whoever thinks of it faster. So you just point at it. Since I'm so far, I'm gonna just point at it. No, just say it. We'll get to read the question at the same time. All right, ready? Okay, so basically the question's gonna come out. We're gonna hide the answers, and we're gonna say the answer first. I mean, whoever says the answer first, I guess, wins the round. All right, so here goes the first question. The power star attended the University of Georgia on a football scholarship. Ghost. So the, the question, the answers are Ghost, Angela, Dre, Kanan, Tasha, Ghost. You say Ghost? Yeah. How about you? University of Georgia on a football scholarship. I'm gonna say Kanan. Damn, I don't know. That's your first answer. Okay. You so you say Ghost? Yep. So you got that was it right. correct. So one zero. The singer is signed to Fifty Cent's G Unit Records. Mm. Dre. Dre, yeah. So you both got it right. So two one. Two one. Yeah, you got one right. I got two right. I guess. Oh my God. Oh, this is the. This, I guess these are the only the answers. Yeah. So it's out of all of them. Ready? Before taking up on acting, his power star was a teen singer by three. Um, I'm gonna go with Dre again. So yeah, when the power star was part of the teen singing. Or Tasha. Tasha. No, no, you said Dre. I said Tasha. So Whatever, just because I thought yeah. of it at first. I knew she was a singer because she came out in that one movie, uh, Taurus B.I.N.G. I know, remember I told you? I <laughs> didn't. <laughs> Alright, this power star played football. Playing 50 cent. Well, I didn't even get to read the question because you're hogging the computer. <laughs> read it right here, look. Well, I'm you taking read it. Lines. Okay, yeah, so I got it right. Me I, too, me, me too. too. No, because you didn't let me see. No. You were like, you're like, this football player, no. Kaden. You gotta read it too. Why well, can't and Okay, read. next question. That one didn't count. No, I got one. Before, Before power action. <laughs> Raise your hand. Tommy. Oh, Tommy. I, I told you that one. I said it first. Because I freaking told you. No, I said no, it first. Three, three. No, I said three, it first. Three, three, Anthony. I said it first. You, you already really have known that one if it wasn't me. I said it first. No. Right? This is, this is, no. This right here. No, no. You can tie it up right here no. with this question. Ready? I did tie it up. No. Right? Anthony, that's not fair. Which power appear in the Hangover Part 3? Um. Look. <laughs> I'm going to go with Dre. I don't think I ever seen him there. That's true. I think I'm I think about Angela. <laughs> oh, I won. <laughs> no, it's not fair. I won. There's one more question. That's it. Six out of six. Oh yeah. So you're 100% right. But I knew the other one, Anthony. Okay, but I won this one. I won the tiebreaker. Then you said it was three three. I still won. Whatever. I still won. No. Yes. Alright guys, so anyways. I won. I won <laughs> You didn't let me see the computer. You have to so read. I would have been four four <laughs> no. three. It would have been so this one would have been a tiebreaker. No. Yes. We had three three. Anyways, I was okay with Because the the fifty seven one I couldn't see okay, it. Okay. So you were like I'll you were like you. this, look. I'll give you two no, three no, 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 fifty cent. And then you clicked on it, you didn't even let me read. Okay, how, we how did that one, but I still won this one. No, I won. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't even. You wouldn't let me see it. You wouldn't have known Tommy okay. if it weren't for me. Okay, but I still So knew. that one is like you didn't know it. But I still so knew. So it's like you got it wrong. I still knew. Because I even said it, Tommy. Before <laughs> you. <laughs> you guys, she's a sore loser. Huh? No. Alright, so I won anyways. Whatever. I'm not buying you whatever you want then. 
Alright guys, so anyways, I won. If you I guys won. think I cheated, comment down below, but I'm look, it fair. Look, he's never watched Grey's Anatomy in the first place. Who cares about I'm the one answer. who snapchatted him and let him know. And then look at where the computer's at and look at where I'm at. If you it's know in me, the middle, you know look. I'm blind. That's not the middle. I'm blind too. But you're literally in front of it. It's zoomed in, look. <laughs> you're a liar. It is, look. We And he zoomed it in. That's not zooming. It is. <laughs> That's just full screen. Full screen. All right, guys. So anyways, I, I won. won. <laughs> Comment down below who you think won and let us know. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any video suggestions, just let us know. This is uh, one of the video ideas we came up with since it's raining outside. It's been raining for like three, four days already. Yeah. So no, two and then like tomorrow. Two yeah. So we just wanted to have a video out there for you guys this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, other than that, thank you guys for supporting. Slums Apparel merch is on the way this month. Keep you tuned on the release date soon. Probably, it's probably gonna be on our Instagram account, so follow us at Slums, Appar Slums underscore Apparel to get uh, notified when we're gonna drop the merch. And for our shout outs for this video, it goes to... To Eduardo Gutierrez and Jessica Webb. Thank you guys for commenting. If you guys want a shout out, just make sure you comment on our video, like, share, and subscribe, and thanks. Peace. And I won. I won.